I'm Cheryl, some critics say Illinois relies too much on property taxes for school funding when compared to other states. Now some experts are predicting a property tax apocalypse in southern Cook County because an assessment increase there can hit homeowners harder. Are you worried that you'll lose your home? I am. Ann Dugarvo and her husband bought their dream home in unincorporated South Suburban Homewood in 2021. We're not going to be able to afford it. It's just that simple. They're not sure they can stay after their property tax assessment went up by nearly $300,000, making the tax bill even higher. Like many other residents in the south suburbs, she pays a high tax rate. Their homeowners rates are between about 14 and 43%, but in the north suburbs, they're 12% or less. The thought of really losing it over taxes is heartbreaking. Now her property tax bill will jump from $6,000 a year to at least $18,000. It's going to double my mortgage. We're going to see ghost towns created all across the southern and western suburbs. Attorney Mario Reed recently held this seminar with concerned homeowners, and he says he's received hundreds of calls from people in the south and southwest suburbs with similar complaints. They're going to lose their homes and there's not going to be anyone who's going to come in behind them because the taxes are just unsustainable. So why are property tax rates so much higher in South and Southwest suburbs? You see, the rates are driven mostly by money needed to fund schools. And since experts say those Southern suburbs have fewer businesses, fewer occupied homes and fewer high priced homes than northern suburbs, there is more of a tax burden on south suburban homeowners. So what does the state contribute to schools? Illinois only paid 24% of the public education budget in 2022, much less when compared to most states. Governor J.B. Pritzker's office says that number has increased since he's taken office and that he's added $1.8 billion to school funding. The state adding that the governor has helped municipalities with $200 million in new grants. My visual for this, it is a broken system. It's broken. But Cook County Treasurer Maria Pappas agrees with Reed and says closing businesses are contributing to the problem. As commercial buildings go down, as they crash and fewer and fewer commercial buildings exist, the residences all over the county are picking up all those taxes. And she says there's the problem of more homeowners exiting. If everybody keeps leaving, those who are left take on the entire financial burden. Dugerveau may be seeing some tax relief after the I-team inquired about her assessment increase. The Cook County Assessor's Office said they assessed the land incorrectly and they're now working to help fix it. But she's still concerned about higher tax rates in her area and school funding driving up those costs. It's a lot of money and it's not justified. It is tough. Experts say if your assessment went up and you want to prepare now, you can pay more money into your escrow for your property taxes. Rob Sherrill, if you do have concerns about how schools are funded by property taxes, you can contact your state legislator. That is always the best bet to try to get change. But as of tonight, as you saw, property taxes through the roof for many people. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.